It's the new season and I'm going to be walking to every Premier League club in London on Don Robbie's football march to raise awareness and money for Prostate Cancer UK. I'm going on the ultimate scouting mission to find out what our London rivals have got in store this season. I'll be giving my passion a football purpose by supporting one of my favourite charities, Prostate Cancer UK. Did you know that prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men? One in four black men will get prostate cancer and that's double the risk of white men. Don Robbie's Football March is about raising funds to find better tests and treatments to save men's lives. So how can you help? Keep an eye out for the updates, share my stories about my challenge and sponsor me to help me save men's lives. Search Don Robbie's Football March on Just Giving or check out the links in my bio. I can't wait. Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Ty with me finally. We've just beaten Bayer Leverkusen 4-1 <laughs> at the Emirates. Ty, was it oh nice to see gosh. Granit Xhaka again? Black lives matter. I don't want to say thank you to the NHS, mm -hmm. to all the volunteers, to the care workers, even the police. We've all, <laughs> with all the, yep. the disturbances going on, you know, and everyone making it a better time in this place. But first of all, we're going to have to mention mention Derek and yeah. Carlo in it. Yeah, so, so you know, yeah, Derek tra tragically obviously lost his life. He's a bus driver. He's a big Arsenal fan. We mentioned it on the bio show when yeah. he was with me. Yeah. Um, Carlo, Carlito, oh, he was here just a second ago as well. Played yeah. for AFTV FC. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, very close to AFTV, and 100%. we listen. Wish his family, you know, all the blessings and prayers to him because it's, it's a tragic time. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Granite Xhaka returning, Ty, to yeah. the Emirates. What, yeah. what reception did you give him? Well, before you say about Granite Xhaka, I just wanted to mention, today is apparently, so I understand, it's Professional Speakers Day today. Well, how do you... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how do I know is that? Is that the radio? Well, how do you know that? Yeah, yeah, no, that's, I, heard, I heard it today on the radio, funny okay. enough. And the funny thing is, so then that's, I would say then, that's Happy Special Speakers Day to everybody who's a pundit, who's lucky enough to be a pundit. That's to you and everyone at AFTV. You know, you're professionals. I'm, I'm just a fan. Well, I'm, I'm just a fan. I'm professionally lucky, so I'd say that. But then did I, sorry, your question about Granite? <laughs> <laughs> After all of that, you come back to our question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry him, I'm sorry. Obviously, there's no away fans for you to argue with today. But well, no, you, you, you're, say, you're, you're saying that. Listen, <laughs> you say that, it says, well, you know, I can't argue. I'm on my best behavior. I can't say nothing. But there was a, but Why? I, a fan. Uh, oh. I can't, well, I, well, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a long story, but I, 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell you off it. Okay. But basically, but there was a Bayer Leverkusen fan and he celebrated. But the funny thing, I was sitting there to some man, I said, I didn't see him when we were falling up. So I only saw him then, but no, no, there was no. Oh, because he's him. obviously his team's losing, isn't no, it? No, but I'm saying I didn't see the shirt at all. But all of a sudden oh, when they scored, oh, I didn't see it was oh. when it was 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. But when he was 4-1, he just per popped up from nowhere. <laughs> so, but yeah. Was how, was your, how was your reaction to seeing Granite Xhaka return no, to the No, 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 it was cool. It was cool. I, like you were saying, it was, it was a bit odd about what he said. Yeah. You know what I mean? About, you know, I mean, listen, I'm not saying, I'm not dissing Granite. And I'm not saying he took a step backward. But for him to be Im intimating that he step, took a step higher, then I don't agree. That's just my opinion. But no, it was, not, it, it was nice to see him. What was funny is that he, he went off because he's always so fit. I was surprised he went yeah, off. Yeah, sure, it's a good point. So, it is pre-season. It is pre-season, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad that he got a good reception. He deserved that. Let's let's talk, just to kind of wrap up as well, let's talk about some of the youngest players, because you, yes. you listen, you follow the youth teams on 23s yeah, and all that. Who, who, what out of the young players that made an appearance, who stood out for you? Well, it's fantastic to see Ethan, to see Josh, to see Miles, to see Hayden. Mm. It's absolutely brilliant, but uh, I thought Ethan was good. Yeah. I thought Aiden was good, but I, 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 I've just got big up Miles because he is a, a fantastic attacking midfielder. He needs playing that position in the back. That's, it's odd, isn't it? He made it so comfortable. Fantastic tackle, but this is what this is what is. And the thing is, I, I was lucky enough to see his mum just before, <laughs> and I was saying that. I mean, when I say that, I mean I saw her. Yeah, to speak we to don't worry. Oh, we have to explain. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we all understood. Yeah, no one said anything. No, because you go, and, you backing on it now. No, no, because Sorry, yeah, no, 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 because no, one said no, because there was there was a hush as if yeah, to say because we, we got it. Was waiting for okay. the, the next bit. But you explain yourself. Okay. You actually sound guilty. No, 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 no. There's nothing to be guilty, but it's, okay. It's, I would. It's, it's okay, not like okay, okay. I'll carry on. Okay, then I apologise. No, no. And I just said, and I, I just, I just said that 
she was saying, how do you think he done? And I said, I, he, he, he done fantastic. I'm so, so impressed with him. He's just, he's just amazing. The raw rise, to see him in uh, under 18s, under 21s, and to see him in the first team, he's just magnificent. Is it important for you, this is my last question, is it important for you to see the youngsters figure in the first team this season? Because a lot of people are saying, Mikel Arteta doesn't bring through youngsters. Mm. You follow them you know, week in, week out. Do you think it's important that you too. see them in the first team as well? This season? Well... Or is it hard? It is hard. It is your spot and as usual, Cecil. It is hard. It's difficult. I mean, people do level that, that at Mikel, and I think that's a bit unfair because the thing is, his job is difficult in a football sense where he has to win every game, mm. you know, and he more or less did that last year. I thought we were very unlucky last season. So, but I think they will get their chance. I think the Carabao Cup will be their chance, you know. But I'm sure if he relies on them, they, they, they will be in. But it's, it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.